Hello Python programmers, in this video I want to explore the uh, well, a new data type, basically it's called an array and in Python there are a couple of array types, we've got a tuple and a list and at first glance they look pretty similar but actually they work in different ways so let's just take a look, I've run the program, I've got two lines here, I've got a tuple suitcase, it's a variable called tuple suitcase and it contains these items the list suitcase contains the same items but you'll notice there's a slight change in the syntax the tuple uses round brackets, the list uses square brackets. So let's take a look. If I type in tuple suitcase, you can see that it contains those items. If I type in list suitcase, it contains the same items. Just like an, uh, a string, if you remember here, I've got a string like Andy. I can pick a location within that string and pull out an item. Same thing works here. Tuple suitcase, position zero. We pull out socks. If I do the list suitcase, position one, it pulls out pants. So what is the difference? They both seem to do the same thing. Well, the difference happens when you try to edit them or edit the contents. So let's say I want to edit the contents of um, this tuple suitcase in position zero. Let's say I don't want socks anymore, but I want flip-flops. So you might think, okay, it makes sense to say that position zero of tuple suitcase is now equal to flip-flops. When I run that, I get an error. It says the tuple object does not support item assignment. Basically, that means you cannot edit that tuple. If I try to do the same thing, but with my list suitcase, I don't have that problem. It works fine. So, whereas tuple suitcase hasn't changed, uh, it would be good if I actually wrote it correctly. Whereas my tuple suitcase hasn't changed, my list tuple, uh, my list uh, suitcase has. Okay. This means I can't add anything to a tuple suitcase. If I wanted to add something, I would have to rewrite the whole line. So I would have to do something like this. Um, let's take that line and I would have to change that to say cream. I've rewritten the entire tuple, which is a bit annoying, but um, it does work. We'll look at why we use tuples in a moment. I can't add anything unless I rewrite the entire line again. Let's uh, paste it in. If I wanted to add something, let's say I actually do want my socks in the end, I'd have to do this. So rewrite the whole thing again. Okay, again, a bit annoying. But with a list, I can do it pretty much straight away. So let's have a go. List suitcase dot append and I'm just going to append an object so let's pack my book call this suitcase there it is it's right at the end much easier to work with a list because a list is mutable so why would you use a tuple well sometimes in your programs you don't want your contents to change perhaps your tuple contains information about a player's statistics like how fast they can run uh, how much health they have uh, by default. You know, those things are not likely to change, so you stick them in a tuple. Things that are going to change regularly, you stick in a list. For example, the items in, a, in, a, in your uh, computer character's backpack, or the number of uh, bullets in a gun, or, um, and some of the statistics about that gun, or something like that. Those sort of things would be stuck in a list because the list is mutable. So those are the two things. You've got tuples and suitcases. Uh, sorry, tuples and lists. Um, have a play around with them. See what you can do. Again, you know the best way to learn is just to play. Check out the actual um, Python documentation on these things as well, because you'll find tons and tons and tons of useful resources that will help you learn these.